everybody, welcome to Rock Painting 101. Uh, today we're making a really fun turkey. I'll show you my inspiration here. Uh, this is kind of a really sketched look, but uh, Thanksgiving rocks turkey. Do you guys all remember those handprint turkeys we all, all used to make when we were in school? Well, it's kind of based off that idea. Um, when we were posting our rock painting shirts on Etsy, uh, my sister spotted this. This is actually a t-shirt design that somebody creates. And it's so fun, I had to turn it into an actual rock, which makes even more sense than the shirt, right? So we're just gonna start by getting our fingers on here, our outline, and I'm a little bit low there, so I apologize for that, there we go. So we've got our outside two fingers, a little short M shape in the middle. And it's okay, we can kind of sketch with our black. We're gonna color over the entire thing here. So we're just gonna kind of lay it out here on the rock. So we've gotta get our thumb, and there's that little bit of skin there. Go down, and then up. Little lump there. Back down. And we've got kind of the bottom of the hand shape, like so. And then to make these fingers, we kind of curve this one, and then this one will kind of curve into it like that. And I think we're we're pretty good shape here. Make our thumb a little bit bigger there. I want to leave enough room to write the word Thanksgiving above here and then rocks below. So that's kind of what I'm using for my sizing here. So I think I can bring the palm down just a little bit further, like so. Okay, so once you've got your basic hand layout written down on here, we can go in and start coloring. Now, if you remember making these turkeys when you were a kid, you can, you know, give a little hands or high five in the comments. But we always painted our fingers different colors. So we're gonna go with that look here with this turkey. So I'm gonna do a different color for each finger. So we're gonna do a blue finger up here. Like that. And we're going to do an orange finger over here. Like so. Don't worry about going over your outlines at all. We're going to do our outlines again anyways. We'll do a green finger here. Um, Actually, we're gonna do red for his noon, so we'll do yellow. So we get all the different colors on here. Yellow on this finger here. And then the rest of our turkey, we're gonna go ahead and color in brown. And go in with our brown. Color in the rest of this guy. And like I said, you can get close to those lines. Don't worry if you go over the lines a little bit. Because you're gonna Go in and redo them anyways at the end. I always like to go back and touch up lines last. Just if you're gonna go over any lines, trying to make sure that they're dry first so you don't pull a bunch of black into your color. Get these dry super fast, so. Here I've got my extra fine tip for my beak. And I'll end up outlining that as well. Got a beak on there. And we're gonna have to add a snood. And I'm gonna go right up next to that beak and add that on there. We're gonna let this dry a tad bit more and then we'll go back in with some black and I think I'm gonna do another coat of my yellow here because I want my yellow to really pop. Be nice and bright. Sometimes lighter colors will need a second coat. We're gonna go in with a little bit more orange. The blue and green look pretty solid, but... Yeah. 
all the way into those. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and write my Thanksgiving rocks on here while this dries. I'm not gonna do any, any fancy lettering. I'm gonna just use all capital letters. Thanksgiving rocks. Love it. So fun. All right. So we've got most of our colors dry here. So I'm just going to go along here, give it a nice solid outline. Just in case any of those colors went over the edges. And we're gonna go along our beak here and our snood like that. And we're gonna add a little eye to our turkey as well. I'm gonna go in there because I there's like a little lump on my rock there. And I really I want that red to pop. So I'm gonna go back in with my extra fine red here. I'm getting that. Sorry, I hit my phone with my glasses there. Oh, I didn't wait long enough. All right, I gotta set this down. I gotta let this dry just a smidge more before I go in with that red again to add that extra little pop. But you know. Okay, so I let it dry a little bit more. I touched up that snood a little bit. And he's well on his way to being dry and sealed. So I hope you give this rock a try. Come back, share in the comments if you do. Can't wait to see them. Everybody have a fantastic day. Bye.